What changes might be in store here? Hi, Paul. Yes, uh, just casting back to um, four years ago when uh, Nomura set up this venture, um, you know, the situation was very, very different. It was before COVID uh, and uh, China was opening up its financial industry to foreign players. The likes of Goldman and Morgan Stanley were all piling in and Nomura thought this is a great opportunity for us as well uh, to sort of diversify revenue sources. And so this, they set up this joint venture um, and initially it was to focus on wealth management and they were going to uh, end up uh, becoming a full service uh, a broker and investment bank uh, by the end of this year and uh, with a headcount of 500 it hasn't turned out that well unfortunately obviously COVID intervened uh, the economy is slowing uh, and Nomura is now um only um, the headcount there is only about half of what its target was and in fact it's actually been cutting jobs recently because it's been losing money it's been losing money um, the losses have expanded every year there's still only about 31 million dollars uh, of losses that's not a huge amount but uh, in, in relation to other banks uh, that are also struggling foreign banks are struggling in China they are quite, relatively quite big so you know it's been quite a setback for Nomura uh, and they're now re looking to revisit those plans yeah, tell us a little bit more about that business with Nomura Orient International. You talked about some of the losses, but what sort of headway did they also make in the Chinese market? I mean, they really started out because they chose to start out with uh, the wealth management business, and um, that's been a bit of a struggle to sort of differentiate uh, from the domestic players. It's very competitive there. Uh, and. Um, Nomura is acknowledging that this is quite a domestic business and that really probably what they need to do is uh, sort of leverage their their uniqueness uh, as a Japanese bank. We've got Japanese uh, markets that are booming uh, and so perhaps uh, they want to sort of uh, market that, look at more cross-border business. Um, you know, this review is at a, at a very early stage at this point is what we're hearing. Uh, but, you know, the focus on domestic wealth management is, is I think they're acknowledging that that is uh, probably not the way to go uh, and then they, that they really need to revisit that and sort of leverage their strengths as a Japanese uh, investment bank.